So, I'm a pirate. Yep, even have the sash. And uh, here's a bottle of rum. It's Bacardi, but psh, we, we, won't, we won't blame it. And uh, that just means one thing. We're making grog. So grog is a very, very easy drink to make because it is an infused drink. Um, you can make it at home. I've bought a bottle of rum. All you need is something to put it in and then whatever you want to add into it. So you, you could make your own spiced rum as well. It's pretty much the same thing. Just uh, this is heavily citrused and it's gonna be a hot drink. That's what I want it for. But you could drink it cold too. Either way. So let's, uh, let's make some grog. So making grog, because it is an infusion, uh, it's actually really easy to make because basically we're just infusing the spices into it a bit like uh, all those spiced rums you get now. A lot of them are infused after the fact. So yeah, you could alter this and turn it into your own spiced rum of your choice, but um, we're making grog. Spiced rum before it was trendy. So <laughs> what we're gonna need to do this for my recipe, I really like citrus, so I'm gonna be adding two of uh, oranges, limes, and I've also got some zest of lemons that I've already previously done and frozen. So roughly about two of each because I really want it to be really citrusy. Now of the thyme, cinnamon, star anise, and uh, nutmeg were all the rage. Uh, I also would have added in vanilla, uh, but I didn't have any and I couldn't get any, so uh, that wasn't real. So I'm just not gonna bother. It won't make any difference in the end. And I'm gonna be using some of the uh, honeydew squeezy honey. That's not needed, but I like the taste just a little bit. And I've also got this. Uh, this is actually honey from a, a local source. Local. Uh, it is Granny Doolittle's Thin Clear Honey and it's made in Port Isaac. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'll uh, put a little picture there. So if you're ever in Port Isaac, you can get some cool thin honey from Granny Doolittle. It's cool. So I'm going to be using that as my sweetening agent. And uh, yeah, this should take around three days to do its thing. And that's mainly just for the spices and to get all that citrusy out. And we should be good to go. Just put it in a fancy bottle and pirate ahoy. So uh, I'm going to get my grater. I'm going to grate the zest of the oranges and uh, the lime and I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and I've zested the uh, orange and the limes. They're, uh, they're zested, we're done with them for now. And we've got our lovely bits of peel. Now I've taken a knife, I've diced it, made it a little bit finer, and I've taken the bottle and I'm just beating it a little bit, uh, just so it breaks the skin, get more flavor out quicker. Again, don't have to. You're making it, you can make it whichever way you want. So in goes the zest into my receptacle. I don't want to put it inside the bottle because it's not big enough and it's got a small neck. I'm looking for something with a wide open mouth so I can strain it and pour it out easily. So in goes our, all our zest. Looking good. Now, nothing has to be sterilized. I have gone through and I've cleaned everything just with a ordinary cleaner, so it's relatively clean, just since it's a spirit, it's not really needed. Right, what's next? Wow, the lemon. So I really do like my citrus, everyone knows that. I like my uh, citra hops, my citrus little beers, and uh, even my limoncello lots of citrus. So there we go. That is all of our citrus done. I've also got some cinnamon sticks. I'm just going to break some up. These are actually old, old cinnamon sticks. These were brought back from Morocco. So they're, uh, they're a little bit different from normal ones. They're not as spicy. They're just fragrant. A bit weird. 
but I'm not going to complain. But I'm going to use more. Normally, just use two or three cinnamon sticks. But uh, since these are not the spicy ones, ah, just going to go nutty. Now I've got my uh, what do we call it? <coughs> now I've got my star anise. Now I'm going to break it up because well it. It will infuse quicker. Yeah, why would it break up? Huh? Break it up because it infuses quicker. It's true. Love the spell of uh, star anise. It's very fragrant. <laughs> very tasty. So, we've basically just got our uh, lovely mush. So, what we've got to do is add in the honey because I want to do it now instead of having to do it later. In she goes. And I'm just adding in the whole jar. Good old Granny Doolittles. Um, I'm not entirely sure how big the jar is, but considering we're gonna be making this a hot drink, or a tall drink, can never have too much honey. Now, just a nice little dose of that, just because I want to. And, you know, like making noises. And now the Bacardi. Smells like white rum. So, I've now got my stirring spoon and uh, just going to beat the living hell out of it. Now that's going to dissolve in the uh, in the honey, and also just get everything moving. Oh yeah! So it has been a little bit longer than three days. Um, it's actually 2020, the first of January. Woo! Happy New Year, everyone! And um, well, the video itself went exactly to plan. After three days, it was Halloween. And, uh, well, I finished up the video. Well, I took in, I strained it all off and bottled it up. There was more uh, in this bottle, but we had to do a bit of sampling. And it's just kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of been put to one side. So I wanted to come back and finish this video off because, well, it's a good video. And uh, I'm sure you guys want to know what the pirate grog tastes like. Because I do. So uh, here's some of my pirate grog. This is the three day steep stuff. And uh, in it goes. I mean, it has a orangey color because we used a lot of orange in it. And it looks pretty damn good. Now it is basically like a toddy. That's how I designed it. But uh, you know what it's like. Uh, the side effects that happened after you've made it, you sample it and you try it. This stuff is fantastic with lemonade, but because I'm still suffering from a bit of a cold, I've actually got apple juice. So in it goes. And now we've got our grog, and except with adding hot water, we've added apple juice. Extra, extra vitamin C. Good stuff. And it smells amazing. You've got the sweet honey-like flavors coming through. Then you have citrus, lots of citrus. First the orange, then sort of the lime, and then a little bit of the lemon in the uh, background. Can't, can sort of smell the star anise just coming through, but we only steeped it for three days. So for a three day steeping, the citrus is gonna come through the most, and then the woody stuff that we added in after, it's gonna be the least because, well, it takes longer to infuse woody, solid things rather than fleshy, zesty lick, um, skins. So let's have a taste and just see what it's like. Cheers. That's pretty damn fine. So instantly I can tell you it doesn't taste like alcohol. Uh, that makes it very dangerous because it's got all of the honey, and the citrus, you're not really getting any hot heat from uh, 
from the alcohol whatsoever, even though this stuff is about, I don't know, maybe 15%, how much uh, alcohol to apple juice I added doesn't taste like alcohol whatsoever. Still got a little bit of the flu, but that shouldn't really, I, I can taste again now, so it tastes really good. I mean, zesty, tasty, citrus, zit, citrus? Haven't had that many. Just uh, my nose is blocked, so I'm having a bit of trouble saying a few words. But you can really taste all of the citrus and then the after sort of taste you get. Cinnamon and star anise, and then last but not least, a little bit, a little hint of that nutmeg. Really good, really good have to make more. Mm. Now I do think it's a much better idea mixing this with uh, apple juice because it tastes heavenly. It's really good. I don't know why people don't market this and sell it because it's really damn good. Hot toddy in a glass with apple juice. It, it wins. Mm. Now I'm going to finish this and we're going to come back because uh, I've got another one to try, which is the exact same mixture, except we left this for three months. This is the stuff that was left in because I just poured off the top, which was nice and clear. And uh, this is the stuff that was left. And I only recently, as in the last 24 hours, filtered this off the last of the pulp, hence why it is a lot darker. So I'm gonna enjoy my apple grog, and uh, I'll see you in a few. So, I have finished my first apple grog. That was remarkably tasty. Uh, even though I'm still a bit banged up, that was really good. Like, good enough that I would have bought that if uh, someone had made it, I would buy it. Even though it was uh, Bacardi. Just saying. So, we've got this other one which I have lovingly put in a skull bottle, because, you know, pirates, skulls. It's all the rage. So let's give this one a whiff. Instantly, this has a completely different flavor. Now, the longer you steep things for, the more the flavors infuse and come out. So the woody stuff, you know, the star anise, the cinnamon, and the, uh, what do you call it? Nutmeg, there we go. Those are more in the forefront, and the citrus, which is the uh, lighter notes, they're more in the background, just from the smell. So in goes a healthy glug. And again, just for evenness, and plus I really like this combination, in goes some apple juice. Now, if you don't like apple juice, you could add in orange juice or pineapple juice or eh, grapefruit juice. It's really up to you. Just, you know, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. It looks dark, considering it was a white, uh, a white rum. I need to learn how to speak. All this grog is going to my head very quickly. So let's see how this one try uh, this one tastes. Same combination, same thing, just left lo uh, a lot longer. Should be interesting to find out. Cheers. Ooh. So this one again doesn't taste like alcohol. Uh, it really doesn't taste like rum in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't taste alcoholic. It tastes spicy. Uh, lots of cinnamon, then star anise. A little bit of the nutmeg, I guess, and then the aftertaste is sweet citrus. Um, mainly lime, um, not orange. Which is, you know, that's just, I guess, lime is stronger for a longer steeping. Don't know, that's just what I taste. But it tastes really good as well. I mean, it's... It's a nice little, it's a nice little drink. I mean, normally we have like rum and coke and things like that. You never really think to have rum and apple juice, do you? But this works. Um, the citrus mixed with the cinnamon, mixed with the apple juice makes a really nice sort of grog mix. Since grog is just water and rum, why not just replace it with apple juice? It's still water, I guess. Mm. I mean, in this one, I'm even getting a little bit of the um, aromatic honey from the forest honey. 
it's really nice. Really nice. That's a good drink. Right guys, so I'm sorry that it took so long to make this video, but we've made the video, got two things from one, and we've made Pirate Grog. Well, a modern day version of. Really quite tasty. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's good to be back, it's good to see you. You know, do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 you know, things like that. And uh, just carry on homebrewing, guys. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.